Now we talk about this famous problem of a car goat game show. Before we can start, let us just focus on this formula first. So you can write probability of E1 intersection E2 intersection E3 as probability of E1 intersection E2 times probability of E3 given E1 intersection E2. So this just follows from our formula that probability of A intersection B is probability of A given B times probability of B. Here you are putting B as E1 intersection E2 and A as E3. So B is E1 intersection E2 and A is E3. So then again instead of E1 intersection E2 you can write probability of E1 times probability of E2 given E1 again using conditional formula and you copy this term as such down here. So you can use induction to expand this formula to this probability of E1 intersection E2 intersection E3 intersection EN this is equal to probability of E1 times probability of E2 given E1 probability of E3 given E1 intersection E2 and so on. So now let us come to the example proper. So let us now talk about the car goat game show. So the game show has three doors. Door 1 door 2, door 3. So behind two doors there is a goat and behind one door there is a car. So the contestant is asked to pick up the door. So contestant could pick up say door 1 and the host then opens a door. He cannot open the door which the contestant has picked up. He can open any other door. So he could open door 2 or he can open door 3. He opens either of the door and shows the, him that there is a goat behind it. He will only open one door. Then he will ask the contestant if he wants to switch the door. So if the contestant picks the right door, that is the door with the car behind it, then the contestant takes the car home. Now should the contestant switch the door after the host has opened the door for him. So let us work through the mechanics of the problem. So say case 1, contestant picks up door 1 and there is a car behind the door. Now what can host do? Host cannot open door 1, he can only open door 2 or door 3. So he opens either one of the door. So he can choose either of the door with probability half, open it and show a goat behind it. Now in this case, the contestant, if he switches the door, he will lose by probability half or he could win by probability half in case the car is behind the other door. On the other hand, if the contestant chooses door 2 and the car is behind door 1, then the host does not have any option. He cannot show the door where the car is because then the contestant will just simply choose the door where the car is. So he has no choice left. He cannot open door 2 because contestant has chosen the door. He cannot open door 1 because the car is behind the door. So the host has no choice but to open door 3. Similarly, if the contestant chooses door 3 and the car is behind door 1, then host cannot open door 3 because contestant has chosen the store. He cannot open door 1 because car is behind it he can only open door 2. So notice that host does not have much of a choice in some of the cases. In fact, he does not have any choice if the contestant picks the wrong door. So let us now solve this problem mathematically. So say DI is the contestant picks door I. So he picks door I with probability one third. So there is a car behind door I with probability one third because there are three doors. Goat behind say a particular door is again probability is two third. Host opens door I. So we are this will depend upon the choice which the contestant will make. So the conditional probability looks like this. So for our our case is that 
what is the probability that the car is behind door 1 given that contestant has picked door 1 host opens door 3 and there is a goat behind door 3 so you write it in this form this is again conditional probability form so here you can say that uh, a is c1 and b is d1 intersection h3 intersection g3 so let us first focus on the denominator so i've just copied the denominator here so that is you have picked door one the contestant has picked door one but the host has opened door three and found a goat behind it so contestant has picked door one the host opens this door and finds a goat behind it now the host has opened this door so that means the car can be either behind this door or this door so the two mutually exclusive events are car is behind door one or car is behind door two because host has opened door three so you put this set as a disjoint union of two sets intersect it with car behind door one intersect it with car behind door two so that is what we have put now this is everything here is independent so you pick the car is behind door one with probability one third you pick door one with probability one third so let us write this down this is probability of c1 times probability of d1 times probability of h3 times probability of g3 so car is behind door one is probability one third you could pick door one with probability one third now host picks door three he has probability of half he could have picked this door or this door because car is behind door one in this case we have fixed car behind door one so he could have picked up either of those two doors so probability is half here and there is a goat behind either of these two doors so there are two goats and uh, the goat could be behind either of the doors so you have half here so this is case this is this part for the second part for the second part you have c2 here say d1 here i'm just doing this one host 3 g3 so again car could be behind door 2 with probability one third you could pick up door 1 with probability one third now we focus on the host now the host if you pick up door one but the car is here you have picked up this door the car is here the host has no choice but to open this door he cannot open the door which you have chosen he cannot open the door behind which there is a car he has to choose this door this door can only be chosen with probability one so that is what is probability one right here probability that there is a goat behind door 3 is half because the goat could be de behind door 1 and door 3 so this is half multiply it out add it you get 1 by 12 let us now focus on the numerator so probability of car behind door 1 is one third probability that you chose door one given that there is a car behind door one is also one third because you do not know where the car is so this presence of conditioning on the information of having a car has no impact because you do not even know where the car is so d1 is still one third probability that the car is behind door one and you have picked up door one so this formula i have taken from here so i've just copied this formula down here so the goat is behind the door so you have picked up c1 and d1 so you picked up door one car is behind it so the probability of having a goat is half between either two of these and again you know host could pick up either of these two doors they both have goat behind them so this is again half multiply it you get 1 by 36 so numerator you put 1 by 36 denominator you put 1 by 12 and you get probability as 
one third. So if you switch the door, you will win by two thirds. So if you stick, you win by probability one third. If you switch, you win by probability two third because two third plus one third is one. And this intuitively also makes sense because if you pick the wrong door, you do not give host much of a choice. The host has no option but to open a particular door which does not have the car behind it. He cannot open the door which has the car behind it. And that happens two times. If you pick the wrong door, you do not leave host any choice. And you can pick the wrong door twice. And therefore, if you do not leave host any choice in those two cases, switching helps. Anyway, we have belabored upon the point by solving it here. Now, in order to end the problem, let us just say, in case host also does not know where the car is. Now, host has no idea where the car is. The only condition given to him is that you will not open the door which contestant picks out. The game show conductors have not even told the host where the car is. So in case he does not know, then we can modify the denominator again. So now we will again use this formula here for this. So probability of picking door one, the contestant will pick door one. So this is one third. Probability there is a goat behind door three. The host picks up door three and there is a goat behind it. This is also one third because host has no idea. So it could be behind any door. So one third and probability that host picks up door three Given that you have chosen door one and there is a goat behind door three, that is half because once you choose door one, you have chosen door one, then host has no option but to either pick up door two or door three. So he could do that with half. You multiply it, you get one by 18. In this case, you modify this. This becomes equal to one by 36 divided by one by 18 which is one half. So in case the host does not know, it does not make any sense to switch the door. So if host himself does not have any idea, he's opening the door randomly. Obviously he could open the door with the car behind it. But if the host is opening the door randomly also, then it does not make any sense to switch. But um, we have to assume that host knows where the car is.